30 seconds into flight. Now you can note the speed and altitude graphics there. And one thing I love is that you can see this booster coming down to West Texas. Astronauts returning to seats. That was the song There's, Zoom. And you can see the relay Engine happening restart. right there. Landing legs deployed. Boost to descent nominal. Booster touchdown. Booster touchdown. Wow, Welcome right. home, New Shepard Booster. If you ever get a chance to see it Capital in Texas, it's descending nominally it's past 20,000 feet. Here, there's three good main parachutes have been deployed. And here they are, looking out the window, seeing Earth. Capital descending nominally. A great shot. We are just under 1,500 feet from the capsule landing. Under 1,000 feet here. That... Uh, Retro thrust system fires Approaching just retro moments. retro thrust fire. <laughs> Capsule touchdown. Oh, touchdown. Auto saving start. Welcome home, NS-37. Our astronauts have landed and they have touched down back in West Texas. Well, 37th mission to space for New Shepard. Status check. It's always great to see the easy knots. Um, they're going to safe the capsule. Uh, they're going to get get ready to open that hatch. Team is out there. They are in their convoy. They've arrived at the crew capsule. And so I love hearing the the crowd there cheering her on from the from the ground there at West Texas. And we have our CM7 Sarah Knight and Jake Mills. They're gonna lift Mihi down into the wheelchair, and she has completed her journey to space and back safely back home on Earth. Look at that big smile. <laughs> Oh, the joy that she must have right now. Now the dream just came true. How do you yeah, feel? It was, it was the coolest experience ever, honestly. How did, how did it feel to be unconstrained by gravity? Super nice. I tried to turn upside down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, the, the, the leg thing you did worked quite well. All so. right, good to hear. But I also, I didn't only laugh like the view and and the microgravity phase, but I also laughed all the going up. <laughs> that was so cool, like to feel every stage of going up. Yeah, awesome. You told me after your ac the accident that you thought this dream of going to space was no longer possible. You just showed the world that it is possible. What would you say to Let's folks that? <laughs> what would you say to folks that have given up on a dream because they thought it was impossible? I think you should never give up on your dreams, right? But I mean, there's also sometimes just a low probability that it comes true. And I just got very lucky and I'm very grateful that Blue and Hans and everyone said yes to this journey. So. We're grateful for you too. Oh. Congratulations.